In this video, I'm going to talk about the three types of, of electrons. So, classification of electrons. And we have three different kinds of electrons. Our first kind is what we call outer electrons. And you recognize the number of, of outer electrons by counting how many electrons occupy the highest n value in the atom. So there are the electrons in highest n value. And well, they're called outer electrons because if they have the highest n value, it means that they're further away. So they're, you could consider them as out of the atom. So they're furthest from the nucleus. Our second type of electrons are called inner electrons or they're also called core electrons. And the way you count the number of, of inner electrons you have is that you need to, to see which is the closest noble gas to the left so you can't add more so let's say you have our periodic table here and if this is this represents the noble gases and you have an element let's say here you will have to go back and this will be your closest noble gas you you never go to the right to determine the closest noble gas. So it's like, if you remember the electron configuration, you, you write the closest noble gas, that's before, and then you keep writing what's left. So you will have to, to do that to determine, determine the closest noble gas. And let's say it has like 54 electrons is an example and then you'll have to add to that complete transition series so you'll it'll be plus the number of electrons you have in the D and the F subshells you, you do not count the S and the P because it's only the transition ones so the ones that are here and the the one that the F ones are just they're supposed to be here but they move them down. So those are inner electrons. And then we have our valence electrons, which become very important later. And they're basically the ele the electrons involved in compound formation. But that doesn't really matter for now. If you want to determine the number of elements, like, you just count the in the main group elements. So it's just simply the the group number. That will be equal to the valence electron. So let's get a periodic table. So our main group elements are this. So just those are the groups that we're going to talk about. And the va the valence electrons will be one for this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we don't count uh, our noble gases as a group because they have no valence electrons. So it's here. So an element like fluorine, that's right here, will have seven valence electrons. An element like calcium will have two, and so on. So you just have to look at the periodic table. And now let's obtain the valence electrons, the all all the kinds of of electrons for an element just so you understand the concept better. So, let's 
let's go with lead. Lead, yes, that's good. It's, it's not good for you. It's very, it's very toxic. So. It's just a good example. So we have 82 in the periodic table. Lead is right here. Yes, 82. And I'm guessing you know how to write the electronic configuration, so I'll do that really quick. You have Cena, that's the closest one, and that is 54. Then we have 6s2, 4s14, 5d10, and 6b2. So let's start with outer electrons, then inner. Valence. The valence electrons are the easiest one. You just have to look at the periodic table. So let's do that. And we said lead is here, so it will follow this line. And that is four valence electrons. It's in group four, so it's pretty simple. Four valence. I just I just write four. Four electrons. Now let's do outer electrons. We define our outer electrons as the one that were furthest away from the nucleus. So they have the highest n value. So n, if you forgot, represents this number. So we have 6, 4, and 5, and 6 again. So 6 is the highest n value. And we have 2 here and 2 here. So 4 electrons as well. So you just look for the, for the highest coefficient to, to the left of the of the subshell and you add up the numbers that are on top here and then our inner electrons so we have to find the number of electrons from the closest noble gas and we already did that because it's our notation noble gas notation so we have 54 plus the transition ones so we said we would omit S and P and the transition ones were F and D so we have 14 here 14 plus 10 and that will give us 78 electrons and a good way to to, to see if you did it right is that when you add up 4 and 78 so outer and inner you will get 82. So outer plus inner are, is usually the number, the atomic number of the element. But be careful with the with the ions because they can be a, a little tricky. And well, that's it for the three types of electrons. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and share it with your friends.